Hi right, guys, it's Spectre here. I'm back with some more Dungeons 2. This is Stung Mission 3. This is the second part. Just been getting my dungeon all sorted out, and I think I've now got to do something with a goblin assassin. Here he is, this chap. Oh. There we go. Let's have a go with this guy. So we've got two abilities here. Activate traps and doors. Invisibility on or off. Payday! The cheerful evil was pleased with this support. An assassin was a decent melee fighter, but its actual strength lay in its ability to make itself invisible. This was, of course, tested out immediately. Make itself invisible. Bang, let's do it. Oh, God. You know, you see them looking Despite the yeah. powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Oh, shit. Some oh. opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually a... able to see invisible units. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long time for him to have opened it with sheer brute force using weaponry. Thankfully, he had a suitable skill with which he could deactivate doors, and more importantly, traps. Uh, yeah, when you don't get ass fucked by some little fairy bastard with a harp. God damn gnomes, whatever the hell it was. Freaking rats around here as well. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Oh bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> Trap corridor. Good luck, boys. You'll need it. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Peons. There are enemies in your dungeon. Huh? Oh, is this one? Run, guys! Get them! Oxes! Kill the fuckers, that's it. Here we go, boys. Right, here look. Yeah, what else we got in this place? Let's have a look. It's researched. Hmm, I don't think we really need that. It's expensive. That's it. Back over to you. Ooh. 
ocean. Shift this one of these fuckers from behind. The on the ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. Warrior princess, warrior the princess. goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. Oh shit for me, fuck me. Dagger wielding motherfucker. Yeah, don't fuck with her. Where is she? Here she comes, she comes back round. What the f Enemies have entered the dungeon. Bloody enemies again. Get down here, dude. Come on. Oh, Christ. More of them. Oh, ah! Christ. A gobobot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what it thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out <laughs> to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobo bot anyway. Let's free the gobo bot. Whatever the fuck one of those is. Ah! Uh, it's a badass dwarf in the way. And we assassinate him. Yes! Ah! God damn! Elated by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage and set fire to large areas would come in very handy. Destroy! There are enemies in your dungeon. Enemies obsess my fucking dungeon. Kill them all! Kill that fat fuck with crossbow. Oh, I didn't even see those guys. Ow, that thing hurts. Oh god. This is gonna be close. Come on, gobble bot. Maybe not. Oh! Firepower, the hopeless evil had lost his gobo bot. Really, that should be the end of the story. Oh. However, somehow, another one of these wonderful creatures miraculously appeared in the vicinity of the goblin cave. Hopefully, it would receive a little bit more care and attention than its predecessor. Well, that's not my fault the bleeding cannon tower killed me. Does some right damage. Those cannonballs were crying out loud. The hunting lodge was completely destroyed. The vengeful evil gave itself a very self-satisfied pat on the back. Ooh. The time was right to concentrate on King Robert. He was in his renowned garden reciting his much less renowned love poems. 
the lyrically challenged evil had no time for poetry and would soon make this tangibly clear to him. Yes, we will. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Come on, buddy. Into the last trap waiting for your ass. Bye. Let's take my orcs. Let's go topside. Take these boys on. The hell? Killed the sheep with the evil. Certainly ain't no one on the love of these things. Hey! That water will not be taking a fucking swimming. Even if the ultimate evil stood behind me swinging his battle axe. The horde came across a stray goblin by the roadside, who apparently constituted the sad remains of one of the hunting lodge's attack units. This miserable being joined the army of the powerful evil with a grateful whimper. Payday. Let's do it. Come okay, here, Mr. Assassin. Love you as well. The hell is that going about? You are living the chimes, they're right. The assassin out of front. Big man. The king was accompanied by a pixie who was able to cast powerful healing magic. A pixie. Any direct attack would be suicidal. <laughs> really? He's protected by fucking Tinkerbell, and I gotta be careful. The narrator was at hand. He pointed out to the impatient evil that the pixie went off from time to time in order to check that all was well, and much more importantly, eat her supper in a little camp to the south. Yeah. Kill the king's pixie. Come here, Tinkerbell. I'm gonna assassinate you. Assassinate the, the pixie. The passed over to eat her meal. The ultimate evil, the annoying little pixie, <laughs> had her last healing spell. The crafty-minded evil sculpted a fan from her wings. Kill the now twit. It was time to look for King Robert and ensure his early demise. King Robert. Well, let's face it, it's a more graceful death being killed by the arch evil than being killed by a bleeding pig. Boom! Assassination. Get down. The ultimate evil had received its well-deserved revenge. But there were still many more heroes out there who deserved to bite the dust. Their time would come. Damn right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed Mission 3. I'll back Mission 4 uh, next week. Um, please subscribe. Give it a like if you liked it. And share the video. Thanks, guys. Bye.